delicious tacos. Mm. So wrong. That's insane. there my beautiful beautiful friends i hope you're having a beautiful damn day and a beautiful start to this new year happy 2022 so grateful that you are here watching my videos and hanging out with me and i thought it'd be super fun to do a little hang out with me in the kitchen all day what i eat in a day type of video and this morning i just started my day off with one of these little cliff bars as i was watching the snow and not wanting to go outside because the snow is beautiful but it's just cold and kind of miserable and i also really didn't want to clean off my car because my car was just like piled with snow half a foot high and yeah it was not fun me and mitch stayed in bed all cuddly and enjoying each other's company until like 10 o'clock 10 30 today actually so it is just past noon i just got home but i am ready to get cooking in the kitchen i really want to make this recipe that i saw a really long time ago which is homemade fruit roll-ups honestly it excites me to the max because i have not had a fruit roll-up in years and my mom never really bought that type of stuff which is awesome in my opinion now that i'm an adult like i appreciate that she didn't like feed me junk but at the same time watching all my friends in elementary school eat fruit roll-ups honestly it just kind of made me sad that i didn't have fruit roll-ups too so i'm going to indulge my childhood craving today and make some fruit roll-ups however they are going to be quote unquote healthy fruit roll-ups i'm going to use fresh fruit and one day when I have children, this is what they're getting as well. I want to make some coffee to get myself going. And I'm going to have one of these uh, AG1 little packets. I forgot my big packet when I went to go visit Mitch's mom. Well, I didn't go low and I went with Mitch. It was Christmas time. You know what I'm saying? This is not sponsored. I just really enjoy the product. So one thing I'm very excited about right now is this kettle. Mitch's parents got me a kettle for Christmas. And I feel like if you watched any of my videos, you know that the number one comment that I would get was, why don't you have a kettle? Why don't you get yourself a kettle? Why don't you buy a kettle? Why, like, what's the reason you don't have a kettle? Can I give you a kettle? It was all about the kettles and how I would boil water in a pot on the stove, which there's nothing wrong with, by the way, just saying. So for my fruit roll-ups, I got some fresh blueberries and some flesh, <laughs> fresh raspberries as well. And then all you do is blend them up in the blender and it makes like a nice paste, like a jam-like consistency. You spread it out on a baking tray and then pop it in the oven for like six to eight hours. But yeah, the recipe is ridiculously easy, but I'm just gonna wash these and let's get rolling. I got my head out this song, bro. I'm blasting my favorite tunes. I only got one thing on my mind. You got me stuck on the thought of you. You're making me feel brand new. You're more than a sunshine in my eyes. You got those pretty eyes in your head. You know it. You got me dancing in my bed, so let me show So Mitch has been talking about meatballs for the last 24 hours. And at first I was like, eh, like whatever. And then I started thinking about them too. And I'm like, why don't I make vegan meatballs? Because I have not done that in such a long time. We're gonna use a lentil base for these meatballs and add lots of spices and just make them damn delicious. So I just strained a can of lentils and I'm just gonna throw them into my bowl. But the thing that I did as well is save the juices. I saved about a quarter cup, just over a quarter cup, and we're gonna use that as a binder. Aquafaba, you can use it from chickpeas, that's mainly what people use it from, but it's fine from other beans as well. But I am gonna add some flaxseed to this as well. However, also for a binder that so many meaty meatballs, actual meat meatballs use, is using bread. Typically it's white bread. I don't buy white bread and I wasn't gonna go out and like buy a massive loaf of white bread for one recipe. So I just have some like whole grain nutty bread. However, mine is frozen. So I'm simply just gonna throw it into the toaster, not to toast it, but just to dethaw it and make sure it's not frozen on the inside anymore. So while that's in the toaster, I'm actually just going to mince up some garlic. I am a garlic lover. 
as much garlic as I can shove into recipes, the better in my opinion. Um, yes, sometimes I may smell like garlic, other times I may not, and I'm okay with it. I'm also gonna be using some fresh parsley. This parsley is looking a little bit sad in my opinion. However, it should do, still do the trick because we're just cooking it in the meatballs anyway. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if it's a little bit wilted now because it's just gonna get even more wilted. I suggest just going over them once with your knife and cutting them into small strips. Just that way they don't get all mushy and soggy and wet. And I'm just gonna take the crust off of it. You don't have to, but mine does have a lot of like extra little seeds on it and stuff. So I'm just gonna gently take that off and honestly eat it as a snack because I'm kind of hungry right now. <laughs> so this may seem weird, trust me, I know. However, um, what we're going to do is soak these pieces of bread in some oat milk. We don't want flavored oat milk. So if you have vanilla, just don't bother using vanilla, please. Obviously, it will work a little bit better if you're not using toasted bread, but... So after we give it a little dip, we're just gonna give it a little bit of squeeze as well because the bread is such a sponge. And now we are going to chop it up in little pieces. If you're somebody that's gluten-free, there's no need to worry. You can definitely use gluten-free bread for this. So now I'm just going to add everything to my bowl that I already chopped up. So I love a good spice, so I'm actually going to add half of a teaspoon of these chili flakes, one large teaspoon worth of oregano, a couple teaspoons worth of some onion powder, and one quarter teaspoon worth of nutmeg. I wanna say that nutmeg is amazing in savory recipes as well. It adds a nice nutty flavor to any savory dish, and I really, really enjoy it, so highly recommend. And of course, our best friend as a vegan, which is some nutritional yeast, I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons worth. I'm actually gonna add three tablespoons worth to be exact. <laughs> I'm gonna add a nice tablespoon worth of flaxseed as well, just to give me that extra insurance that these are going to bind and stay together and not fall apart. Nice amount of black pepper in here and some salt. Please don't be shy with the salt. So now that we got everything in our bowl, <laughs> It's time to throw back the hair, that way I'm not getting hair in my meatloaf. Meatloaf, meatballs, you know what I'm saying. And now we're just gonna get our hands in here. Now this may take a second to get all of these lentils broken down, but just give it time and have some fun. Embrace your little childlike nature and get your hands all mushy and gushy, I love it. So the one really annoying thing about making recipes like this is the fact that the batter just glues itself to your hands. So just put a, like, a little bit of olive oil in your hands and now we're gonna roll these into nice sized meatballs. Oh my goodness, I literally cannot wait to eat these. I am so hungry and these smell so freaking good. <laughs> So now that I got my oil all hot and ready to go, I'm going to throw in one of these meatballs and if it doesn't give me a nice sizzle right away, then I'm not gonna throw the rest in. Little swirly swirl and... Noise, all right, let's get rolling, nice. Keep on running from the truth right now. I'm just a lonely part of you. Now when I drive around, don't feel it. So now that I got the meatballs out of the pan, I just have them sitting on a plate to rest. And I'm going to throw my vegetables in the same pan that I cooked my meatballs in. I just gave it a nice little wipe to make sure there was no brown, like burnt bits that were just gonna get burnt even further in with the vegetables. So I'm gonna throw in my onions and my mushrooms first, just to give some room for the mushrooms and onions to brown up and caramelize. If my pan was a little bit bigger, it would have been a little bit more ideal. However, there's so many wonderful flavors already in here from the meatballs that I don't really want to waste. So that's why we're going about this route. However, it is important to give your mushrooms a little bit of room to brown because they do hold so much moisture that when you crowd them, they're just gonna excrete their moisture and then never be able to brown just because they're in liquid. Also, another thing, I typically use brown rice pasta, however, I just don't have any in the house, so I just use normal wheat pasta. So I got my perfectly beautiful al dente pasta, and it's going in the pan. All right, we're saving that for later. 
I don't know about you, but black pepper on pasta is like literally sent from the heavens in my head. So I love so much black pepper on pasta. So beautiful, so simple. Mm -mm -mm. got our beautiful crispy meatballs here like they've held their shape so so nicely besides this little piece that just fell off mm, so good three little meatballs for me one little meatball for you suit yourself and now i'm just going to top it off with a little bit of fresh basil or a lot of fresh basil apparently and a little extra sprinkle of some nutritional yeast just to top it off and there we go here's lunch so our fruit roll-ups have finished they finished a long time ago actually they did not take as long as i expected them to take which was really really surprising to be honest i read a couple of recipes and they said that they were gonna take like six to eight hours in the oven at 175. my oven starts at 200 so it was probably a little bit closer to 200 maybe that's why it didn't take as long but even so it only took like two and a half to three hours to to get to this point and then i just let it sit for another hour and a half so it's completely cold now and now i'm just gonna cut it into nice little strips to actually have the fruit roll-ups i really hope it tastes good it tastes like trash i'm actually gonna be a little sad not gonna lie oh no I actually think it's way too crispy. Yeah. Aw, that's so unfortunate. It's like chips. It tastes great, but it's not for roll up. Last time in the oven, apparently. That's insane. I took it out so, so soon compared to the recipe. I don't understand how recipes online can be so wrong. <laughs> like six to eight hours, what? This would have been like great probably at an hour and 45 minutes. Well, you live and you learn, I guess. I'm gonna try this again another point in time and hopefully it works, but oh, what a waste of fruit. So I got some comfy cozies on because honestly making dinner in comfy pants slash in your pajamas is just my kind of vibe. It just makes you feel so relaxed and you're just hanging out, making dinner. Like it's just a whole vibe for me. Anyways, we are going to make some spicy tacos, but what we're going to do is use Frank's hot sauce. So I'm super excited about that. I love adding like Frank's hot sauce into recipes just because it's kinda so unclassy but in such a way that it's just like so good i have a half a block of tofu here that i'm just gonna cut into strips about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch thickness wise and you saw i put that sweet potato in the oven as well i don't have any avocado in the house but i wanted some sort of creaminess so into the bowl that goes and like i said we're gonna add some tamari tamari just has such a nice umami saltiness to it so that's why it's such a good marinade, even if you're not doing an Asian inspired dish because tamari is fermented soy sauce, basically. Basically, it is that, it's fermented soy sauce. <laughs> so we got some onion powder, garlic powder, some chili flakes. You can do as much or as little or none if you would like, because honestly, I just, spicy food. It's where it's after me. And some sweetness to really balance it out. I'm gonna add a splash of apple cider vinegar to this. Not enough to make it taste like apple cider vinegar, but just enough to like round out the flavor. Probably about a teaspoon worth. And now I'm just gonna let this sit aside for about 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and there we go. <laughs> We got our golden brown tofu. Tofu. <laughs> tofu. I'm just gonna throw it back into the bowl that we had the marinade in, and then I'm going to throw my Frank's hot sauce on it. And we want to. We want quite a bit. Probably like a couple tablespoons worth, because we really want this tofu to be saucy. 
So when the sweet potato was done, all I did was just turn off the oven and let it sit there for probably about 20 or 30 minutes while I was cooking this up and everything. When the oven was still warm, I threw these corn tortillas in there. They're still nice and warm, but they're not crispy. The sweet potato is so nicely sweet in my opinion. Oh, it's just, oh, so good. And I'm gonna throw some pickled red onions on here as well, just to give it a nice pop of color. All right, and there you have it. Super simple, delicious tacos. Mm. So that's it, that's all for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this very different what I eat in a day video. Let me know down in the comments, did you like this style of what I eat in a day video? Do you like my vlog versions more? Maybe I can just mix it up between the two. If you didn't like it, also let me know down in the comments because I'm I'm a fan of honesty. So just, if you need to break my heart, just do it, do it a little nicely, but please do it. <laughs> However, I just want to thank you for being here and thank you for joining on my journey. It truly just lights my heart up to know that every single one of you are here watching my videos and supporting me in some sort of way. If you could do me a massive favor and hit that like button and that subscribe button because it truly supports my channel. And I will see you again very, very soon for lots more videos coming your way. I'm sending you all so much love and have a beautiful rest of your damn day. Mwah.